Dahil sa banta ng COVID-19 maging sa mga first and deprived of liberty o FDL, nagpatupad ng pansamantalang pagpabaliban ng dalaw ang BGMP sa ilang mga jail facility nito. Ayon kay BGMP spokesperson Xavier Solda, ang temporary suspension ng dalaw ay para na rin maproteksyonan ng mga PDL maging ang mga personnel ng BGMP. Ang akbang ng BGMP kasunod na rin ng deklarasyon ng Pangulong Rodrigo Duterte ng State of Public Health Emergency kasunod nito ay binuhay na rin ng BGMP ang kanilang BGMP National Task Force COVID-19. Prohibit the entry of symptomatic visitors, enforce the no-contact policy, hugging, handshaking, or kissing among visitors and PDL. A distance of 1 meter or 3 feet shall be observed when communicating with visitors, PDL, and personnel to avert the spread of the disease. Personnel and visitors to include service providers should, fare, should wear face masks and shall pass through thermal scanning before entering the jail. Wardens shall provide a designated area for visitation with proper ventilation. Availability of disinfectants in strategic locations. We also included the posting of tarpaulins and posters on COVID-19. The installation of trash bins for infectious waste. We should always observe proper hand washing and proper hygiene to protect oneself against COVID-19 and conduct massive information drive on said disease among our personnel, PDL and visitors. Kabilang naman sa mga jail facility na apektado ng pansamantalang suspension ng dalaw ang lahat ng kulungan ng BGMP sa Region 1, Region 11 at NCR. Sa Region 3, ang lahat ng kulungan sa Bulacan, Angeles District Jail, Male and Female Dormitories, sa Pampanga, Kabanatuan City District Jail, Talabera Municipal Jail at San Jose City District Jail sa Nueva Ecija. In Calabar Zone, the jails of the entire Cavite province in Rizal, Cainta, Binangonan, and Antipolo jails. In Laguna province, our jail facilities in Cabuyao, Talamba, and San Pablo, the visitation is likewise temporarily suspended. The rest of other regions, jail units are observing precautionary measures since visitation is still ongoing. Tiniyak naman ng BGMP na nakahanda sila kung sakaling magkaroon ng positibong kaso ng COVID-19 sa mga PDL. Yung ating mga health personnel kasi, minomonitor nila yan. So dun sa monitoring, makikita mo na kung sino yung mga person, uh, meron kasi tayong person under monitoring and then person under investigation. So ang, ang, instead of the PDL to be brought outside the facility, Yung DOH, no, yung epidemiology unit nila, infectious unit nila, sila ang pupunta sa jail to check, no, to, to conduct tests doon sa person under investigation. Ngayon, papaano kapag nagkaroon ng na-confirm na may COVID-19 talaga doon sa, ano natin, sa PDL natin? That PDL, unang-una, hindi na siya dapat maisama sa general population, dadali na kagad siya immediately sa hospital. No? And then yung kanyang community doon, and definitely uh, they will be put under uh, uh, close monitoring no? at uh, i-isolate sila doon sa, within the facility then, And then that should be under the uh, monitoring na rin ng Department of Health kasi all cases naman doon kami pupunta, doon kami makakapag-coordinate and then uh, doon namin kakailanganin din yung technical assistance nila no? how we further manage on top of, in addition to the doctors the, the medical staff na meron kami sa facility Chong Malapas Radio Inquirer 9.90 Bayang nagtatanong mamayang nag-uusisa